hey guys thank you so much for clicking on my video and welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing a young review on the real housewives of durban we are on season two um, and we are on episode three ayanda and humuzo are gone they were there in um season one and yeah uh, are they missed I mean, I think Ayanda's missed a little bit because, you know, she was cool. She brought fabulosity to the show. She was extra. She was, I believe that she would do very well if she even got her own show. Um, we do miss her. And yeah, but um, I'm really happy with the new girl that they've brought on Ulundi London. I've actually been a fan of Ulundi London before she even came on to the show my streets i know her from the insta streets where she is a baddie <laughs> you know as a baddie you know small waist in humongous area and all that and you know there's a lot of them on instagram but i just always liked Ulondi. i don't know if there's something about her that just looks very real like okay body aside but like her face i find i don't know if she's got like fluffy eyebrows or something but there's just something about her that just makes her look very real to me and during the show actually when um um, um, um had said to annie that ulondi doesn't look like her instagram pictures and i've never met ulondi in real life but i found myself wanting to say i know she does she does <laughs> you know i don't know something about her it just gives like the thing you would see she's just like really pretty and she's She's not gonna change when you like see her up close. I've never seen her up close though, so I don't know how true that is, but I hope it's not true because yeah. So anyways, Jay, um I liked her and I think I liked her even more when I discovered that she was Zulu. I don't know, there's just something about a girl guys, like a girl can be hot and everything, but once you find out that she's Zulu, oh man. Next level, like I, I don't know, maybe because I'm Zulu, I just have a thing for Zulu hands, but today, hey, I'm Zulu guys, you know, somebody if I can be like, well, oh, and you know, you like him, mana, munu. I love that. I think I have a thing for Zulu hands. Okay, so when I saw her on the show and then I like saw her beautiful family, her little baby and her little baby daddy. <laughs> You know, I found myself like being like, ish, this guy, I hope that he's got it out of his system, you know, because I, I can't remember if like how long back it was, but you know, the g wagon that we saw Ulundi coming out of, <laughs> we've seen that g wagon before on her faith, you know, when Ubabagampana uh, decided to like, you know, go astray and our girl had to do like an, an Instagram rant. I think she was a little bit drunk and she was like, hey, when I'm a time I'm a cool footage, don't even have a die gap. And I was like, I was laughing so hard because that's like top, top tier go wishing and stuff. But then I, I mean, he just went and he got somebody who has like exactly the same body shape <laughs> as Magamfana and like I really I felt for her at the time because it felt like you know they just object to him like he's just looking for somebody which is like basically a small waist and a big you know bottom section and stuff but I'm happy that she goes Magamfana back and I hope that's Magamfana so it's Pasarache Manje really in a little why I'm going to do it on your cake so many so okay okay ulondi ke was having e sip and see for umfana wake and yo be you know hampton vibes you know i don't expect anything less from ulondi you know she understands the assignment mosi ale ento le yokuba on trend and you know okay okay lo say into in nice beautiful deco okay cool so okay eh umama ka london ke she stands up oh beautiful you know that was a nice touch you know very that's how we do we start a hymn and we do a prayer and then yo <laughs> the speech ow kotama kotama like hey my guys 
when she was giving her speech i was like you know already on the socials there's always like these memes about zulu people who see this is it fine you know ube safety <laughs> so uma eh, she just literally was dicing basically as a province like she, she just confirmed some of those memes with the kvn in english uh, <laughs> But anyways, guys, don't tell us so behave. So one thing that I, I like I saw and I liked about Mangalondi was that as much as her English was like almost like non-existent, her daughter's English though, it I to Londi like she speaks properly and all that. So well done to Londi's mom because this obviously means that you know, even though she didn't get the opportunities that she got, but she she hustled hard and she managed to educate to Londi and stuff. And yeah, man, she did the most. So I'm gonna get to her mama. Let's just yeah, feed my baby like my gave her mama and everything is gonna be okay. Yeah. We've got a Caucasian, we've got a Jojo, and uh, love that for the show, diversity. I mean, Durban does not only have black people, so I love that it's good, it's nice and diverse, and it's good. You must create relationships with people outside of your of your race and your tribe and whatnot. You, like, you know, the world doesn't revolve around black Zulu people that are around you. Like, there's other races, so it's nice. Diversity. How is she? Love her. She's a cool girl. Like, first of all, I love this as who's today. She's edgy. It just shows that, like, okay, this is a girl who lives by her own rules. So that was the first thing I saw about her and I loved her. She's pretty, nice body and everything. And I just love it. I feel like she's the queen of punchlines. She's just she always got this quirky and like sassy thing and Nyaitanda. I think um, one of the first comments that I heard where I was like, oh, okay, Jojo, she was like, she doesn't like the gym, so she just goes and gets it sucked out. And I was like, that's it. That's the level of rich I want to be. <laughs> and I'm happy to hear that like, you can just live by getting it sucked out because I don't like gym either. Well, yeah, I can't stick to gym, so it's nice to hear that I can actually like keep it right by getting it sucked out. So when I have money, it's going to be me. And yeah, and then I think the second time where I was like, I go, Lungu. <laughs> After she was bringing the fire. Um, Latongo was giving her advice. Like, okay, after the, 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 the Sip and Siga Omi, Latongo came, I think they had a lunch or a young situation, sit down situation, Dula Si. And Dula Si was like busy dishing out advice to Jojo about like Mshato and men and whatever and whatever. And then Ujojo in her diary session, she's like, girl, who's married between you and I? <laughs> and I was like, yes, Jo. And then, um, after the when at the at the event, like the black tie event, she had arrived first and other people hadn't arrived. I felt like telling her with the girl, African time, but yeah, <laughs> like African time is a bad habit and we need to change it. But I loved what Jojo said, like she's like it's hard to be late when you <clears throat> own a Rolex. And I was like, Gally <laughs> I, I love Jojo. I feel like she's she she brings spunk. She's fun, and I love her. Like she's proper rich. When she looks like she's proper rich, her house is very nice. I love her husband. He's so nice. Like oh, his face, we are Jima. You know, she's not dating a Madala. I'm cool Madala. She's dating a nice guy, and he looks handsome. You know, like, like they look like a beautiful couple. But no, Jojo he looks like he worships the ground she walks on. So love it for the girl. Happy for you jojo um yeah i mean i hope you're gonna stay on and i can't wait to see what you're gonna bring on as the season progresses and then um sorry sorry no oh, man so risha <laughs> so risha is just so news she's so cute guys like i just feel like she's a genuinely good person like she's a good person like inside like deep deep i don't feel like she has a single ugly bone in her body and she's just a sweetheart and i feel like her being on the show it just brings like 
you know, if we're not, like, with Sorisha there, then you know that, like, we're talking serious money because I feel like Sorisha, I don't even know if it's not like eating it, but I just feel like Sorisha, they purchase probably rich even in dollars, <laughs> you know, I feel like Sorisha's money is like really, really long. So I love it, and she just brings class to the show and, and whatnot. Uh, sorry, sorry, I uh, know she owns like, um, aesthetic salons like in Durban and stuff where you can do yeah, the facial then you can do your body and whatnot. So Risha this company and a of girl I need to suck out some of this fat that's going on here. But yeah, I love um so Risha. And then um no ooh. okay you know ooh. I think I'm still holding a grudge <laughs> with no I boo in the Ababayans, I guys know my wife on that um, reunion show. Hi, 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 Lanjiba says, way no. I mean, why I end up with a shower leaving and a susu was why I end up there? Like, I feel like there was just like so tasteless in the Bayans and Jay, oh no, oh no, my wife and stuff. And no, oh guys, like, why? Guys, come on, I mean, I think I tell a woman, I mean, she's fabulous, I get it. She's she's one of those moms and whatever, who are like fabulous and like that's good, good, right? See, we but come on, guys, we can't be seeing no good mom at every episode. I mean, I think I tell you, mama, guys, I'm not the one and Jay, you know, I think it's tasty. So, manje my sister, so to my one every single episode. I, you know, go please can. Um, and champagne, like as the season goes on, how I feel about her is still going to be repaired and restored. Like, once I see it, uh, so far, I'm understanding she like with the storyline. So, it's so so to me this, this season because you know, like I said, I'm not there anymore, and I just hope we have a little bit of fun to my work throughout the whole season. Like, I'm not going to work with you guys, I'm not going to work with you guys, and I'm not going to work with you guys, and I'm not going to work with you guys, and I'm not going to work with you guys, and I'm not going to work with you guys, and I'm not going to work with you guys, and I'm not going to work with you guys, and I'm not going to work with you guys, and I'm not going to work with you guys, and I'm not going to work with you guys, and I'm not going to work with you guys, and I'm not going to work with you guys, and I'm not going to work with you guys, and I'm not going to work with you guys, and I'm not going to work with you guys, and i am not going to work with you guys i am not Test. Maybe that's a little bit mean, but it's a shame. Okay, she's really like you know out there about wanting a partner and all that. And it's a shame, I can't imagine how much harder it is like finding a man, like you're a mouth millionaire. Like it's hard enough for us, like average Joes. So I can't imagine like how much worth it gets once you have money. So I the hope of Kelly, I'm looking at a shame, and she eventually finds somebody, you know. We go on to our little cute Annie. Oh man, Annie, guys. Yeah, Annie. You know, Annie. She brings like a very useful touch to the show, which I love. But, I, you know, so it's not just like, oh, oh, Auntie and, and whatnot, you know. Sometimes I feel like, though, she, she's a little bit childish. Like, feels like she takes it a little bit, you know. But I think, what I think is nice. She brings a nice dynamic. I love her. She's a cute girl. So happy for her. You know, she's got Hulu and they're living a nice life, you know. And they have their kitties and they have their businesses. Hulu, um, if you guys don't know, like Hulu is like a, a, a I don't want to say a god because that's blasphemy. <laughs> but Hulu is like the, you know, the it guy in Durban when it comes to like events. I think he owns views and, and most like, places clubs you know like that kind of a vibe here in Durban is like he is the go-to guy for it so I'm sure his money is like extra 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 long I went to listen to an interview um, with him and he was like speaking about how he lost everything and then how he gained it back so I feel like that's always like the best kind of husband you know once he's gone to the top and he's lived recklessly and lost everything and then wow and then came back up I feel like now that is a guy who's not gonna mess up again so I feel like Annie's got herself a good one and I'm happy for them their house guys beautiful Annie I know man that house was really nice guys like you guys are doing very well happy for you and yeah i feel like oh any she's like me i feel like she's still holding a little bit of a grudge with Unungu, no my kid about 
Leanto, Yagu reunion. And I feel like she's being passive aggressive, like she's taking it out in other ways, you know, with Unonku. But I just feel like gosh, she must just one session I'm give it good. Like I'm give it properly. Say everything that she wants to say to her. And then you know she can move on with it because I feel like this tension and listen to like these little digs and all this uh, 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 that she keeps um like doing it's because she's still angry about that um situation and maybe she hasn't addressed it in the way that she wants to address it so she definitely needs to do that she's not the only one who's thinking it now me i'll i'll be on i'll like right on that wave with yeah jelly <laughs> like no i think it was she was speaking to annie and she insisted on going off in in in, in Zulu. and i just felt that like that was so rude like why are you speaking this language where she won't understand you like i don't appreciate that and i hope that they really will address that i don't mind if they're speaking like it's between each other because obviously like they understand each other and there will be subtitles but i mean there were no subtitles to tell any what nungu was saying so that was rude and i hope that they're not going to carry on doing that this season um also i think any shame she didn't hear properly with umara nungu the thing that umara nungu said about with you guys are beautiful but not like me i think Kinji umara nungu she's one of those you know flamboyant moms so she was kind of meaning that like she's beautiful and the ladies are not beautiful as her it was a joke i mean it's a typical mom joke and whatever i think maybe because again like i said any has got this thing for nungu she misheard it you know and then she started you know just coming for nungu so shame umara nungu she's annoying but she didn't say that she's not rude any we didn't hear her properly. So now, Nong Aniso Tongo, our Lassie. Love her. Loved her from um, episode one. Love her, like her loudness. Where Shwele? I love her, like the being I love that, like rural Zulu thing that she's got going for her. She has, like, a, a side of her that's very urbanized, but she also has that side of her that's very rural. Like, she's got one of, she's got a very beautiful apartment. Her house is so nice, so tastefully decorated. Like, well done, Lassie, on your house. And um, I'm happy with he in this season shame on the i'm happy she was okay in this season she's not acting like you know she's engaged and all these things are happening with ubaba because i mean come on guys i was not buying it um <laughs> i was not buying it mina it's season one i mean yes she does have a baby with ubaba and whatnot but we it went sour a long time ago like wasn't she didn't she have an instagram post at one stage uh, crying about Ubaba and other or he's not a present father or something i don't know but something did to allude to the access and things have gone sour so jay i wasn't buying it from then and i'm happy we see uh, the season she's finally facing reality and she's finally moving away from acting like in a relationship because i mean come on there's no relationship but the cool thing was here she's now accepted this and she's moving on because now she can find somebody i feel like she'll make a really 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 good wife she's just got that wifely thing you know she's gonna love her man and she's gonna find herself a nice traditional man and he's gonna be really happy to have his nice you know thick girl as a funny pie and DJ, you know, they be on that no go ma ganja vibe, you know. So, let's see, you're so beautiful, girl. Like, you're gonna find somebody. Oh, Mr. Guba, it's hobby. Ow, my kids, I'm fast. I'm it's been the second fast. I'm Musa. I go away. I miss being so I husband Like a whole nerve with a whole Vivian Ready. Vivian Ready is Sorisha's husband. I mean, I am Vivian Ready. Uncle Viv, you know, during one of her sessions. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, she was like, I was in the business now, I was like, I was like, I'm going to be in the business with Uncle Viv. So now I'm saying, I was like, Uncle Viv, I was like, Uncle Viv one day, and I'm going to say, I'm going to be pissing me on, you know, I'm going to be contracts or something, I'm going to be like, Uncle Viv, I'm going to be paying them. But anyways, Uncle Viv, she invited her whole Uncle Viv to Beverly Hills, I will guys. Okay, Beverly Hills, okay, he is just a beautiful, Fancy hotel. I think Beverly Hills and Oyster Box. They like on the same level. I think they like top of the range. I mean, 
But I mean, Utobile was so in Kisabantu, was he red tie, was he black tie, you vent, he about Bakoma dresses, but my husband, Abo, you know, my husband, I love a band to guys up in the young and you know, by a Beverly Hills hotel. I mean, for what? <laughs> Maybe we're still going to see like something gay, like we're gonna see it unfold in the next episode you understand why but i would have been so annoyed guys like i would get all dressed up you know and one of his reaction was right like i can't just be so tobin and god i mean i mean i mean i'm sure they're big <laughs> i mean zumbi you know they're big in like zumbi i mean you can't be calling <laughs> such important people in their hobbies and tell them red black tie event and then you come like so late like that's rude and also i really hope Utobile is going to respect us and take us seriously because so far hell no like yeah as a hammer we shoot her i mean come on guys we see those yellow houses enough and then manje sukuba makabete ake green like the Real Housewives of Durban, guys, it's supposed to be about opulence, extravagance, fabulosity. It's supposed to be, you know, about things that we don't have, like that we aspire to have. It's supposed to be like aspirational wealth, you know. So, so we can't be shooting for them soon. Like, even our houses, bro, we have all those things that she has in her house. So, she must please respect us. It's either they get a mansion somewhere extravagant or we totally they must leave the show. I guys, they must respect us, please. Mzumbe, I we see Mzumbe on the Sunday table and we like it there and Mzumbe must stay there, please, not so great how sort of seven. But Utobile as a whole, um, you know, I'm looking forward to the morning and yeah, I really enjoyed um, the show and I'm looking forward to more episodes. I'm going to be reviewing more episodes, so if you enjoyed this, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe and uh, you'll get to see all of my upcoming content. I'm excited. Um, thank you so much for tuning in to the video and I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one.